G'day Libra, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under, going to do the love energy coming towards you as it now, Let's see what's going on, alright, so this is a general reading, so you take what resonates, leave the rest, if it doesn't resonate at all, check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if there's something there that resonates with your current timeline, cross watches, this could be you, but if it's not, this is someone else, so keep that in mind. What's going on with my tablecloth? Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscri subscribes, views. Every single one of them is greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. All right, Libra, let's go. Message for Libra. Oh, excuse me is free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so is there something you need to free yourself from get back control of oh loving yourself first good you're free loving yourself releasing that x clearing out that energy and releasing any codependencies or addictions releasing that Wow, what's after that? This could be the one. Um, yeah, releasing that X and releasing that energy that was affecting your romantic life. Any codependency attached to that. And you're loving yourself and you're freeing yourself. That's excellent. Good on you, Libra. Good on you. Beautiful energy. If you're not doing that, get to it. <laughs> That's what you should be doing. That's what you've been told to do by the cards, so eh? if you haven't done it, do it. Yeah, very soon. Do it very soon. Clearly, so you can clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Because, yeah, the sooner you clear that energy, something to do with religious factors, belief systems, clearing out those old belief systems, something will come to you. Yeah, then you'll be able to call in a soulmate. Once you cleared out that old energy and you're vibrating higher, beautiful. Alright, love energy coming towards Libra. Three cards, please. What can you tell us? It's one. Ooh, it's two. Ooh, and there's three. Okay. I like it when they come out quick. Hey, come here, you bugger. Alright. So they have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So they could be focusing on their finances right now or have some issues with their finances. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So do they want to retreat with you? Or are they retreating from you? Hmm. Libra. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. They want to give this relationship a chance with you. That's interesting. Okay. What's at the bottom here? Oh, it's new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Mmm. Oh, Someone wants to reconcile. New love. Someone from your past is returning. Getting to know each other as you reveal, reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So perhaps they are waiting for you, divine timing, to get to know you. Wanting to reconcile with you and have a new love with you. Well, you've released all that. Well, it could be someone else. Could be someone else. They're keeping an open mind. They're willing to wait. I want to get to know you, so perhaps this is someone from further back that wants new love with you because they want to get to know you, so it's not someone recent that already knows you. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I really hope it's not this X one that you were dealing with. I know it was a bit rocky. I think it was you anyway. Okay, we'll give it one more shuffle. I 
Okay, message for Libra. While well, you're releasing the X and the dependency on that. Bottom of the deck for you is the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. You've got your confidence up, you're feeling good, you're looking sexy and sassy and ready to go after whatever you want. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Having a lot of love but not showing it. The Fool, wanting to take a leap of faith. And Nine of Cups, feeling, feeling emotionally fulfilled and filling your own cups. It's normally a single person here. Um, it's a wish fulfillment as well. Taking that leap of faith towards something that you really want. But you're holding back your love, but you are very confident and feeling very hot and sexy. <laughs> Go Libra. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what you want. You got a lot of love to give, and you're going to take that leap of faith and go for that wish fulfillment. I'm possibly feeling a bit stuck at the moment, though. Oh, well, you need to release that stuff. You need to release, so you can show that love. All right, let's find out about this love energy coming in. Tell me about finances and career for this love energy coming towards a Libra, please. Mm -hmm, cards that want to shuffle for you. It's a bit weird. Well, they get the fool. They're taking that leap of faith. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Mm, I think even though they might be financially a bit... Mm, could be wearing old tatty clothes. <laughs> um, I think they're going to take a leap of faith maybe to w regarding their finances. Or well, they're leaping towards you anyway, regardless of their financial issues. Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sag energy, wanting to charge in with passionate action. Well, all knights are action, but ones are action. And ones are passion, so... This can be a bit of in and out energy though. It could also be they're taking action with their finances, taking that leap of faith. Got the four of pentacles, so they're holding on to all their money at the moment, being finances. Two of swords, a bit of indecision. Nine of wands, they're a wounded warrior and they're really exhausted. Two of wands, really not sure what to do here. Regarding their finances or whether to come towards you. Getting really worn out, holding on to their money. Just can't decide what to do. So maybe they will take that leap of faith towards you. Or else they're taking a risk with their money. Um, holding on to it but unsure about. Because they're tired from their work. Whatever their finances is. Unsure about whether to come towards you, I'm feeling. Even though they'd like to take that leap, they're feeling a bit foolish because their finances aren't the best. King of Swords, this is you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Especially you, Libra, with the scales. Yeah, they're worried about coming towards you with these financial issues. All right. Tell me about retreat for this love energy coming towards Libra. Mm. So we've got the Two of Wands and the High Priestess. So they don't know whether to retreat or not. They need to go in that cave and get more information from that hierophant with the scroll there. If you can see that. <sighs> Something they haven't learnt here. Because they're undecided about which way to go. Trying to trust their instincts, but... The instincts might be telling them to retreat. Or else... They are coming to retreat with you somewhere. 
but they're keeping it a secret about this indecision that they have. But I'm all, I'm all getting that. They don't know whether to retreat or not. They're trying to trust their instincts. Seven of Wands, yeah. They want to stand their ground and fight for this. They, um... Could be a bit defensive as well. That's why they're retreating from you. Hence again, the Three of Pentacles, they, they want to um, work on those finances. They want this love with you. And they want something that'll grow. And there you are. But they know they have to look at things logically here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Yeah, logically they, you know, they're looking at this from a logical perspective. And they may even want to communicate with you in a very adult way um, about how they do want to grow with you. And they want this love with you, but... They've still got some work to do here. So perhaps they're going to retreat until their finances get a bit more in order. They might come in, take a leap of faith and share a bit of passion with you. But then they retreat because they know that they've, yeah, they're feeling a bit defensive about their finances I'm getting. Okay, tell me about give your relationship a chance for this love energy coming towards Libra. Okay, try again. Let's just work on your partnership. Give this relationship a chance. Okay, so we got that one. And the jumper. The Hierophant and the Queen of Swords now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Synergy. So they do want to give this a chance. They do want this commitment here with you. But the Queen of Swords, you've got to come correct. So they want to come correctly. That's what I'm getting here. They want to come correctly in this commitment with you, to commit to you. They want to come correctly because you're their happiness, the sun, the happiest card in the deck. They want everything out in the open. They want the, to make this the best relationship they can, coming correctly with that stability, everything out in the open, everything clear. That's why I think they're retreating because they're a bit defensive about the fact that their finances not might not be in order yet. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is the King of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, Six of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, they're having to control their passions and their actions at the moment. All kings have mastered their element. So they're mastering and controlling their actions and their passions because they want things balanced between you two. I think this is more financial. Um, they've done a lot of soul searching here and they're spending a lot of time alone really thinking about this get together with you. Well, it could be the third party is the finances. That's what's keeping you two apart. They want to celebrate this with you, but they're um, they're working on their shadow side, doing a lot of work, self work, trying to build up those pentacles. So they're having to control that passion, and having a new love with you um, until they get a bit more financially stable. Maybe. Hmm. 
Interesting. Alright, let's find out a bit more. Message for you at the bottom. Uh, I was just trying to read that a different way, but um, I'm going to wait and see first before I, I'll see if I need to come back to that. Alright, message for you is Mystic Meadow Sanctuary. So you number 26. So you're finding some sanctuary somewhere. Prosperity, be spirit, number five. Spirit Guardian of Winter Retreat number thirty eight, which we've just come out of spirit, uh, out of spirit, out of winter here in Down Under. We're in spring at the moment, and Bear Spirit Healing number four. So perhaps you did some healing through the winter time. You've retreated. See, you've got re they've got retreat. You've got retreat. You've retreated to heal. And build up some of your prosperity here within your own sanctuary, within your own sacred space. Building up your own stability here. That's why, I, and you've retreated to heal and yeah, in your own space, building up your own prosperity. This is good. I like what you're doing, Libra. I like what you're doing. I'm not sure about this other person, though. We'll find out a bit more, hey? All right. Love energy coming towards Libra. Three cards. What else can you tell us, please? Ooh, there's four. We'll take the bottom three. Because that's where it goes. <laughs> if I get more than three, I only take the bottom three. Okay, so they have Secret Spring Success. Hmm. Storm Spirit Chaos and Wolf Spirit Family. Oh, sorry. Number thirty four, number forty two, and number fifty one, in case you're interested in the numbers. Hmm. Interesting. Bottom of the deck for them is the Stag Spirit Leadership, number 39. Water Spirit Manifesting Dreams, number 46. Aspen Spirit, they've got a lot of spirit here. Courage, number 3. And Dragon Power, number 11. So they want to take some sort of leadership here with manifesting what they want, getting that courage and power back up again. Not sure what sort of power. Let's look what's under it. Strength. Strength, courage, power. Wow. Ancient oak spirit. So strength, power, courage. Mm, they're not feeling very strong at the moment. They're trying to manifest something with you. And trying to take the lead. They've got some secret success here. They're not telling you about. There's a bit of a tower happening here. And Wolf Spirit family, I'm seeing that as the pack. It doesn't necessarily have to be family, but their soul tribe. Part of the pack. Hmm. Trying to take some sort of leadership. Hmm. Message for you, Libra, is Two of Swords. Don't make any decisions here when it comes to this energy. Five of Swords. Don't sabotage it either, though. Eight of Coins. Keep working on whatever you're doing in the world. Closing out those cycles. Yeah, you keep working on closing out those cycles that you need to close out, like we saw at the start. Um, yeah, don't try and sabotage this. Don't sabotage yourself either.
Yeah, I'm getting, yeah, don't make any decisions here yet. You might sabotage something. Indecision and head games. Yeah, and uh, all this indecision and head games, you're working on closing that out. So, yeah, you keep doing what you're doing, Libra. You're doing well. I like what you're doing. Good on you. Get on you, mate. <laughs> Yeah, King of Coins, you're getting yourself stable, stable, grounded, financially well off, you're, you know, getting ready for a, a commitment if it comes, you're a commitment material, or a catch, um, yeah, mastering that element of the 3D, time, energy, money, all those things. That go with the pentacles. Yeah, you're doing fine. You're getting yourself stable. You you keep doing what you're doing, Libra. You just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, because you're getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, you keep strengthening yourself. You keep working on that. Okay. Tell me about Secret Spring success for this love energy coming towards Libra, please. They have the Hermit and the Ten of Cups. So, they've gone within and done a lot of soul searching here. Looking at this Ten of Cups, this happily ever after, how to get it, how to be successful at it. They've done this in secret, which is by themselves. They've been very successful at that self-healing they've been doing. And they secretly want this um, successful Ten of Cups with you. Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It's your energy. Um, but it's spying or finding out information. I'm getting this because it is a page. It is a message of communication. Could be a message of communication. It could also be um, being a page. It's young energy. So they've got the right idea on the success, but they're still a bit immature when it comes to how to deal with it. Four of Cups, missing an opportunity or not interested in an opportunity. Missing that opportunity of the Two of Cups with you because of heartbreak. <sighs> Making that judgment call. It can be reconciliation. Can be someone from the past wanting to reconcile. They had their heart broken. They want this love with you again because they missed the opportunity before. Mm. But it could just be that they've missed opportunities before in love and had their heart broken. They're making that judgment call to be more successful this time. That new love is staring at me. Which is here, this new love. You can see it? Yeah. The reconciliation under the that, though. Hmm. I don't know, Libra. Because, yeah, they still need more information on it. Page of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. If it is someone from the past, they want to apologize. Or else, again, this is young energy. It's a, it could be a message of love. But it is young energy. So is it that innocent love, that childish love? Not knowing what to do here. All right, let's have a look at Storm Spirit Chaos. Why is that here for the love energy coming towards a Libra? Ooh. Mm. 
got any problem with these cards is they tend to bend a bit. <laughs> Alright. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy again. The Moon, the Death card, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, they've had a tower fall, they've had some sort of chaos in their life, and they're wanting to cut that out and charge forward with truth into that unknown. Or those, this is the secrets, cutting out those secrets that cause that painful ending, cause an ending here. Wanting that ending to transform into a new beginning, a passionate new beginning. And they've had a tower. Cutting things out, the secrets, transforming this and ending those secrets. The unknown, the fears, cutting out those fears, letting them end and transforming into a new passionate beginning. This is the chaos. Could have been cutting words were said behind someone's back in secret that caused an ending here. And they think they can come in with that wand and act like a fool. But then they've got to retreat because... Mm, what's at the bottom for that? Six of Wands, success. They want success here or they want attention. They cause chaos to get attention. Uh, or they just want this to be successful. They've had a tower moment. Some truths have been said. That ex they've exposed those secrets which have now come to an end or caused an ending. They want a new beginning. They want it to be successful with you. Three of Wands, they're waiting. They're definitely waiting. Stuck in their head about this waiting. and uh, They've been left out in the cold. No, we're not doing well financially. It's doing their head in. They're trying to invest in the right things, but they've got to wait for these ships to come in. I hope they're not coming in because their finances are dodgy. Taking a leap of faith that they can come in and con you with this passion to get help with their finances. Hmm. Hmm. Libra. This is very interesting. It's not really making. I'm not sure who this is. Alright. Tell me about the wolf spirit family for this love energy coming towards Libra. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. There's that Seven of Coins again. The Eight of Swords again. And that Five of Coins again. Wow. I'm getting to see you as their family, as their soul tribe, as their pack. And you were their wish fulfillment. You helped to make them feel feel full emotionally but guess what buddy you gotta fill your own cups yeah it was their wish fulfillment that you invested in them but now they don't know if you will it's doing their head in about being left out in the cold possibly financially perhaps you invested in them financially Something to do with family here, or soul tribe. I'm getting pack. I keep getting part of the pack. They felt like they were worth something when they were included, but now they're waiting, stressing about how have they been left out. Bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Hoping that that wheel's going to turn in their favour. And then again, there's a fortune. It could be out in the cold with no money and 
trying to come back to you like they want this money. Eight of coins, they are working on something here. They're working hard. Yeah, because the tower fell on them. A lot of clarity about how to control... Yeah, the Emperor and the Sun. And so they're trying to keep themselves in control. They're seeing you that their happiness had crumbled down and they're trying to stay in control. They're trying to work their way back into some sort of leadership position here. Throwing themselves into work after the tower fell between you two maybe. Ended that happiness. Took away their control. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. He can be very stubborn and he can be very in his ego. So, just the masculine cards. Oh, the tower came down on some happiness here. They're a bit stubborn about it. But, you know, they're trying to put in some sort of work here. <sighs> they want to give this a chance. They want to come in correctly. We can see that. They are trying to work their way back up to some sort of leadership position. Obviously, with their finances, they might have had to have a new beginning with their finances. That they're taking that action charging in to take that action towards it that's that work they're putting in they may have retreated from you because they're unsure of how to tell you about this secret that they're keeping about their finances could have gone to naught a bit defensive about it they want to come in correctly they're working on this success but possibly in secret um And I think once they're feeling a bit more stable within themselves, done that work for themselves, they can come in and offer this to happily ever after to you, but they need more information on what they're doing, this success. They're still working on this success. They've had some sort of chaos, we saw that tower, um, happen in their life. Could have been secret endings. Their business could have fallen apart. They're having this passionate new beginning that they're working on here, hoping it's going to be successful after all the chaos. Could be a family business. Something that they love doing. They invested a lot into it. And it really did their head in when it all fell apart. But they are trying to get that wheel to turn back in their favor of putting in that work mm, yeah I mean they want this new love with you but they're controlling their passions at the moment until they're in a better financial position is what I'm getting really even though love's not really about money but I mean Hmm, all right, what would you like to say to them, Libra? Let's have a look. I'm not doing the black cards this week. I was guided not to use them this, oh, this reading. So we're just going straight to the messages. You'd like to say, I love your smile, and I think you love to make them smile. I'm always thinking about you. I will contact you soon, and I was raised not to show emotion. Hmm. So you might not be showing much emotion to them. You are going to contact them. You're always thinking about them. And you love their smile. So, you know, I need time to heal flipped over. And I think you've done your healing. You're, well, you're doing it because you're closing out cycles. So you might be just taking this time to heal at the moment. Not looking at this yet. Ooh, something just flipped out on the floor. Hang on a sec. You turn me on. So this person, 
You think they're hot. <laughs> they turn you on. All right, let's see what they've got to say. Love energy coming towards Libra. What would they like to say to Libra? At least three cards, please. Whoa. We got three. Okay. We have... I now know what I lost. Well, that could be the financial thing. I'm feeling that is. I pretend I don't care about you. Ooh, but they're pretending because they're trying to get this finances stuff going. Oh. And I can't right now. Yeah. Because they're working on this financial thing. They don't think that they've got... They want to come in correctly when they come in. And they don't feel that they are in the right position to do that right now. So they're focusing on their work, pretending... No, I can't think about Libra right now. I can't care about Libra. Uh, but they do. God, I feel like I'm losing you. Yeah, they might be a bit worried that they're going to lose you. I'm single and ready for love. Well, they are. Like emotionally, I think emotionally they're single and ready for love. There's no one else. You feel like home. So they feel very comfortable. You feel like... A, like home to them there's that family and we belong together so they definitely think that you two belong together you feel like home to them they are single and ready for love but they've got this work they've got to do first they're worried they might lose you because they have retreated yeah they want to come in correct um, and for them, that means financial stability. So I think once they're feeling a bit more in control of those things and it's not occupying them so much at the, like it is at the moment, they will come in and offer you some sort of love here, Libra. But uh, not right now. They're still working on this. Um, they're keeping it a secret from you, though. That they do want this successful love with you. But I think it's these finances. As much as yeah, they'd like to take that leap of faith and come in with passion, they're going to have to retreat again after that. And that's why they're in undecided. I think they're just leaping towards this new financial situation at the moment. Hmm. Alright Libra, well that's your reading for today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I know it's, you know, it's probably not what you want to hear, but, they, you know. They're not gone, they're not with someone else. It's, yeah. So, yeah. Alright, well, all the best. We'll do another reading in a few days or so and see what's going on then, hey? Hopefully they've got their... They're doing the work. They're doing the work, that's for sure. So I think once they get that chaos out of the way, they'll be ready for you. Alright, well, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.